Hi, welcome to India Food Network. This is Veena and today we are going to make a traditional Sindhi preparation called Bhugal Gosht or Buna Mutton. This is universally loved by both Sindhis and non-Sindhis. So let's see how we can make it. So I have placed here on this flame my pressure cooker and I'll begin by adding oil. So that's four spoons of oil. I'm next going to add ginger garlic paste. Follow that up with chopped green chilies. I just mix this around. Now I'm going to add chopped onion, this whole bowl of chopped onions. So for our bugal gosht, we need to brown these onions. So I'm going to do that on slow flame, turning it around so that they are uniformly brown before we put in the mutton. The onions are browned and now I'm going to add the mutton to it. So as you can see, these are very fine, thin chops. Sindhi mutton is made with chops and this kind of pieces which is called mushk. Any meat wala will be able to give you those. And mix them well with the onion. If you feel that the onions are touching the base of the cooker or are sticking to it, that's perfectly fine because that will become a very nice gravy afterwards. I have bunoed the mutton with the onion and ginger garlic paste for a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to add all the dry spices. So a little bit of turmeric or haldi, half a teaspoon of jeera, dhania or coriander powder. In this hugal gosht, we add both the sabat or full garam masala as well as the ground masala. So I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves, tej pata, one or two sticks of dalchini or cinnamon, a couple of cloves or lavang, and I will also add some ground garam masala. Bono all this very well so that the masala seep into the mutton. And now I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. And once again, the mutton gets bunoed with all the spices and the tomato. It's also time to add some salt. This needs to be bunoed for quite some time till the tomatoes are completely dissolved and the mutton has a good, rich, golden brown color. The buggal gosht has now got a nice brownish red color. Tomatoes are also dissolved. So now we come to the last stage, which is add some coriander leaves, some boiling hot water, so that we have a nice gravy in the mutton. Now it's time to close the cooker and we'll cook it for 10 minutes after the first whistle. Our Sindhi mutton or bhuna gosht was cooked. Now the cooker has cooled and so now I'm going to open it and it's got a nice rich colour. So I'll serve it. I hope you've liked watching how we make Buna Gosht or Sindhi Mutton and we'll try it sometime. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to India Food Network and don't forget to share your feedback because we are anxiously waiting for it.